even kind of want to upgrade our um, building capacity even more. Right now we're at 111. I think we, I think we could afford it. But actually, what we might want to do is just go for steel frame buildings. We'll get us up to 210. Holy shit. Well, what are we researching right now? Right now, we're getting pan-nationalism. Steel frame buildings. 80% construction sector throughput. I don't remember where it actually is located in here. There it is. Yeah, let's go Let's go with you first. Then we can go back to pan-nationalism. But I'm willing to spend a stupid amount of money. We can, get, we can basically double the, uh, the size of our construction sector. And that should be pretty, pretty good. Yeah, so we now produce steamers. We basically paid nothing for them. Yeah, Britain makes the most. But I think we can very easily uh, make more than them. We're free trade. So actually, I can't even set priorities for this. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we're, like, we're paying basically nothing for our steamers. Which I'm very, very happy with. I think we can get another one. I guess we'll go with the Middle East for now. I say state region. North German Gabon is isolated. North German Congo is isolated. Okay, so we want to build a port here. Just, just a level one port. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Building, construction. Go to the last page. Throw you to the very beginning. So right now, it's going to take 262 weeks to build everything. Which is... 52 weeks. That's actually not even that long. That's like three years. That's not horrible. We still need more convoys. We've got unproductive trade routes. And they immediately want us to start shipping off our steamers. Oh, we can make a lot of money off our steamers. Well, potentially. 200. I mean, the thing is, it, it drastically reduces the price of French steamers. So, I mean, we like France. So, I'm, I'm willing to give them a... I'm willing to throw them a bone. Tuscany, let's trade with you. Yeah, just make a little bit of cash. Low market access to some more places. Input good. We don't have enough ironclads, but that's because... Well, actually, I think our second shipyard should now be open. Yes, it is. You're going to be an extensive military shipyard. And yeah, you're civilian. So you're not going to start producing ironclads. And we should then have enough ironclads. And I wouldn't be surprised if we're the number one producer of ironclads in the world right now. Number one producer. We are also quite literally the only producer. If you want ironclads, you have to come to Germany. They're the only place you can get them. Which probably means that they're very valuable to, sh to ship off. I mean, wood's expensive, steel's expensive. We got two rubber rushes. Yeah, rubber rush everything, hell yeah. I mean, rubber's usually a pretty good resource. Yeah, me and France can be friends. I'll even allow them to keep Alice of the Rain until I until they eventually backstab me. Maybe that makes me a bad German, but Rye Farms, we can actually get fertilizers now. They actually are gonna make us a stupid amount of cash. So I'm more than happy with that. What about you? Intense grazing, simple ranch. Go intense grazing. Anything else we can upgrade right now? The answer is not really. God, we're gonna make so much fucking opium. The opium is going to go fucking off the rails very, very soon. Okay, we're going to finish up all of our shipyards. Because right now we're building five buildings at once. And once we can actually build a steel frame buildings, we should be able to build like eight buildings at once. Or nine buildings even. 
arc well the building we just with the 420 this will cost us 30,000 pounds to do we need more wood actually no it's gonna use less fabric less wood less iron more glass explosives tools and steel steel is gonna be an issue so actually what I probably also want to do is we should have steel mills we do let's get you both up to level five Port in Tonkin. I think that actually... I will build one Port in Tonkin. And thinking about it, probably getting a level 40 opium farm might be a bit much. So let's cut that down to just be like a level 20 or something like that. What are your pants for the Benelux? I mean, right now I, I don't really have one. Make Dominion, Conquer State, take Treaty Port... I mean, at some point, we do want to take Holstein and Shushwig. Even now, I feel like it's kind of been a while. And it's even been a while since any of these guys... In damage relations. Don't... Don't... Fuck Russia, man. France are a new friend now. Spell Diplomat, Custom Unions. Was well, our Custom Unions still looking okay? Uh... Markets. I mean, the answer seems to be Yes. Open markets. You're a puppet of Denmark, so I can't really just like force you to do what I want. And Luxembourg is a puppet of you. Netherlands, what, what would it take for you to for you to join my market? Because you know, Netherlands, I think you'd probably prefer to be. Uh, in my country. They would say no. They're actually not even that far off of saying no. But they don't like us well enough. And I mean, okay, fair enough, I guess. The Pope's in the Russian market. You're in the Austrian market. Post trade agreement. I guess we're rivaling Russia. Oh, let's rival them as well. As well. There we go. Got a thousand points here. So Russia and Austria, they're, they're our enemies for life. I'm gonna improve relations with the Dutch. Okay, I'm gonna improve relations, take on debt. 158,000 pounds. Let's form a defensive unit with Bremen. Why can I not improve relations with Oldenburg? Oh, because they already like us. Okay. Was well, there anyone else for defensive pack with Saxony? I have enough points for this. As of obligation. It means they'll like us more. And you know what? Maybe they'll uh get defensive pack with Bavaria. How much are how much are you in debt? One million pounds! What the hell? Yeah, well, we're, I'm becoming the, the protector of the German people, right? It's been a while since any of these guys have decided to... Um, is this Montenegro? Do I care about Montenegro even a little bit? No. Unless Montenegro wants to join my uh, custom union. Post trade agreement. Montenegro. That's radical Montenegro. I want normal Montenegro. Must be at least cordial, port connection. Yeah, I, I, I don't care about you. Declare neutrality. They, they, they genuinely do not matter to me. Input good shortage. We don't have engines now. Number three producer. We still don't have enough. And is it we don't have an is, is that we don't have enough? It's not that they're too expensive, it's just that we actually don't have enough trains. So we want to import from probably France. It also reduces the, the, the price by quite a bit. So let's import from France. We'll import from the Dutch as well. Because again, me I want the Dutch to be friendly with us. I want me and the Dutch to have good relations. I don't know if they'll ever actually accept. 
I mean, they don't even like us, but... Embargo... Because they need to be at least cordial. They're actually pretty close to saying yes. Like, surprisingly close. Belgium, how close are you to, uh... If you were to switch? Negative 83, they also don't like us very much. But, I mean, the Dutch can... Me and the Dutch can be friends. For sure. Steel frame buildings. Like, if I was to do this right now, it would cost us 39,000 pounds. I say that, but then I switched over. Okay. No, there there, there goes the... Uh, there goes the money. We're now building 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Yeah, 9 buildings at once. I think that's pretty good. We'll, we'll switch you back down to Iron Frame for now. But apart from any on-hauled, Brandenburg and Tonkin can all do the... Uh, and have the good shit. Hey, France fucking cut me off, the assholes. Okay, but these will now go at least a little bit faster. So, I mean, that, that's something, right? Release patient from the Berlin Asylum have suddenly announced the practice involves in their supposedly medical treatments. We can, have, we can give the trade uh, unions a little bit more support. They hate us. Or we can spend a stupid amount of money. You know, trade unions, you can have uh, control of the insane asylums. We'll get pan nationalism back. Maybe that'll make them more likely to join. It might make them more likely to join us if we've got the better nationalism tech. That's not really based on anything, but... You know, maybe it's true. <laughs> Chemical plant, improve fertilizers with you. Shipyards are still looking good. You know, half of you on... Actually, if I were to switch you over to this... I mean, you wouldn't even make us any more money. Why do you cost so much? And put good subsidy... How much are we spending on subsidies on these buildings? 60,000 pounds? Why? Like, what, what do we not have? I think it's... Is it trains? It's probably steel and coal. Glass we need. And again, but we don't need it. It's that it's expensive. So we want whatever drives the price down the most, which we'll get it from France. Do not get it from Austria, because again, I hate them. Just on principle. Just on principle, we don't want to uh, we don't want to trade with the Austrians. Paper. Again, we can get that from the French. Wood, we can get you from... Oh, Austria would give us a ton, though. Okay, Austria, I'll make this one exception for, for wood. We'll import that from you. Steel, we can get that from the Dutch as well. Fuck, the Austrians also make a lot. Fine, Austria, I, I don't... Don't don't take this as, as me liking you, Okay. 146,000 pounds on uh, construction right now. It's quite a lot. 183 at the moment. Um, It's because of... It's, it's the subsidies, man. But I can't not have the subsidies. Otherwise, we're going to uh, be very poor. We have a lot of convoys. We can afford this. Expensive military goods. Again, it's mostly just fabric. Get some from Nez, Austria. Doesn't even drive the price down that much. Pay with Modena. We do got a lot of convoys, which I'm very happy to have. And we no, no, we no longer even need to be importing opium. We can also export uh, ironclads. But why would I want... Like, here's the thing. Why would I want to export, like... Our weapons of war. You know what I mean? Like, we are making good shit. We can export you to the Ching. And liquor, we can export to... Nobody for now. I think, I think right now we're pretty okay. Opium farms are looking pretty good. 
But actually, what I might want to do as well is... One, I think we need more barracks. Give me a level 6 thing here. I'm going to build a small barracks in this area. And just kind of build a handful of military factories. Or not military factories, but a handful of... Uh, Barracks is across the country just so we can get ourselves a larger military. And now we need more convoys. <laughs> Fuck. Convoys are hard to come by. Like, how many points? How many convoys? You give 7,700, huh? And even then, that's actually not enough. Get a little bit more railroads. Across the country. There we go. Let's get level two. Because how many, how much stuff are we building? We have six pages worth of construction, but it's gonna be done in three years. Raising concerns. The intelligentsia and the industrialist. Again, you're at twelve, so we could, uh, we can actually afford this. And is there any laws that our government can pass? Wealth voting. Bureaucratic and everybody hates that. I mean, really, nobody's happy with anything. Actually, we go private health insurance. You know what? Boom, done. We can pass a health insurance law. People, they love health insurance. Yes, we'll get that going. I think all of our opium is now really good. I think we're done constructing the opium farms. Question is, how short is glass? We still got a lot of turmoil. How much opium do we actually now produce? Because I, we fucking went hard on the opium. <laughs> we have a level 23 now. It produces I mean, quite a bit. 100% staffed. Um, we can go to market, details, opium. I would like. I'm. A, I wouldn't be surprised if the East India Company still produces more than us. We're now the second producer of opium. Yeah, I mean, yeah, British British Raj makes the most, but we're we're number two. Germany makes a shit ton of opium now. Which is, which is fantastic. I mean, it's a little bit worrying because I'm pretty sure in order for the opium next to get to our units, it does need to go all the way across the world. But, like, don't worry about that. I'm sure that's okay. Nothing bad could happen. <laughs> uh, what level are our police forces at? Well, they're at the maximum that they can possibly be at the moment. We just need, we need more bureaucracy to increase this anymore. Yeah, you would need quite a bit. So I guess we could build more government administrations to increase our bureaucracy. And that probably would be a wise move. You know what, Netherlands? Yeah, let's have a trade agreement with you. Get rid of the shipyards. I don't care about those anymore. Urban centers. Go with better markets. Government administrations. Is it alt for five? No, shifts for five. You know what, everybody, let's just upgrade all of our, um, well, not all of them, but let, let, let's upgrade a, a decent amount of our administration here. 226 weeks, paper mills are being built. I mean, our GDP, we're, we make 80, our GDP is 80.6 million. Our GDP per capita is actually shit. <laughs> we're number 23 in GDP per capita, which is honestly kind of embarrassing. Why is it so bad? I mean, France has a GDP of 244 million. France, what the hell is going on over there? France is by far the richest country on Earth. Quality of life is 16.2. I mean, right now, we're the average is impoverished. I mean, we're doing better than expected. But the rich in Germany right now are fucking loaded. GDP per capita, 
I mean, Prestige, we're doing very, very well in. You know, I'm happy to see those numbers. Like, once we can eventually, you know, unite all of Germany, I'm hoping those numbers will increase. Fine, Austria. We'll trade with you again. I'm not even too sure what the embargo actually does. Is it just an opinion modifier? I don't actually know. It seems like that might be the case where it, all it does is actually modify your opinion. Okay, France is trying to import some ironclads. I mean, that's understandable. I don't like it, but I, I, I get it. Naval base... I really want to increase our naval capacity as well. We need we need more ships, basically. Honkin has a level one port. You should all be on ironclads. We don't have destroyers yet. For this, we need destroyers. Okay, I mean, f fair enough, I guess. Where are destroyers? I'm assuming it's. There's monitors. Destroyer, okay, destroyer's actually a level four tech. The propelled torpedoes. We almost got breach of artillery. What do we actually need to upgrade our infantry? In order to get them to the next level. To get them to be trench infantry, what we need is we need trench works. Okay. Squad infantry, mechanized infantry. So where is God? It's even if even though we have like a ton of opium, it's still stupidly expensive. Forty thousand pounds. Why is it so... forty thousand? Opium we need four hundred forty-two. So like even though. Love to see Divergent Darkness for, uh, for Victoria 3. Uh, yeah, wait, I do actually have that mod installed. Like, I think maybe for our next Victoria 3 series, maybe we'll just jump straight into uh, trying out Divergent of Darkness. I do know that it doesn't have... Oh, no. Divergent of Darkness is already out for Victoria 3. Yes. Uh, as far as I know, it's just the map. There's no events in the game at all. But to be fair, uh, there's not really that many events in Victoria 3 itself, so I don't know what the difference it actually makes. Okay, so there's actually a war. You want to actually unify Italy. Wait, that's a Costa's belly? I didn't know that. Italian leadership. You're worried you're cocky. This is two sisters against Tuscany. Do I give a shit who unifies Italy? No, I don't. And what about you? I mean, I'm already backing you, so might as might as well get ourselves involved. It doesn't, we're not we're not going to send troops or anything like that. That'd be outrageous. Like, can I do anything to like unify? Like, do I have a cost of belly to unify Germany? We can take on your debt, start bankrolling you. But like, why? Genuinely, why? Who cares? Get everything up to steel construction. New parties from the country. The SDP have reformed. I guess, I guess they disbanded at some point. France is doing really well in this whole colonialism game. My colonies in, in contrast